Hi, Joe. That's right. We're at the Veterans Center, and joining me this evening is none other than Derek Kawakami. Thank you so much for uh, doing this interview with us. Now, Thank I you. want to just get your first reaction on that first printout. What did you think? Well, we're extremely humble. I mean, our campaign team, they worked so hard for this, and they made so much sacrifices. Um, the first reaction was one of gratitude and humility. And, um, and my heart is just overflowing with, with love for this team. We have such a great team. I'm so happy for them. And um, we're very happy with the first results. Now, how does this compare to other races you've been in? And what were the challenges? Um, some of the bigger challenges was just organizing a huge group and, and, and just a swell of support. Um, and it's a mayor's race. This is the very first mayoral campaign that I've been involved in. Um, I know that Mel has been in one, and so I really came into this campaign learning every step of the way, and we're just fortunate to have so many seasoned veterans come into our campaign to help groom us. I mean, there's such a diverse group of talent within this campaign that um, one of the biggest challenges was just figuring out how to get running, and once we did, we never stopped. And tell me, what type of supporters do you have and a message to them? We have supporters from every single walk of life. We have supporters that represent the working men and women of Kauai. We have people that are retired. We have young folks that are too young to vote that were out there canvassing with us. We have Malahini that just moved here and we have longtime Kamaina families. When you talk about the melting pot of Kauai, you look into that crowd and this is who we are. This is what Kauai is all about. And wrapping up here, I wanted to ask, you know, um, if elected, this is the first printout, if elected, what is on your to-do list? You know, our first 100 days is going to be focused on getting a good cabinet together. And we have a blue ribbon panel of folks from the private sector that's going to help us identify good talent. We want to put people in places where they can succeed. We're going to take a look at our legislative package. Our legislative session is coming up right around the corner. There's a number of policies that we're going to be asking our legislators to pass so that we can enforce on illegal TVRs. We have a number of properties that we're looking at partnering with the state to have transferred over to the county so we can get affordable housing up and running. We're taking a look at getting our budget in order. Our budget is the next big thing that we're looking at. And then, of course, we're going to be deploying an affordable housing task force so that we can identify shovel-ready projects and get those projects up and going as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Joe, back to you.